Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with SNOME. Today's host is Corey Kather, and he is the Regional Accounts Manager, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and Corey will answer them at the end of today's presentation. Thank you, Corey, so much for being with us. We appreciate your time and looking forward to the information you're going to share with us. I'm finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate it. Um, what I'll do is I would like to go through our product line and give you some uh, kind of updates. Uh, what I'll try to do is try to go through our product that is out currently quickly. So if I talk too fast, please save questions for the end and I'd be happy to review anything as well. So I'll try to, uh, the reason for going through the whole line is we do have some sort of some new products, but also some enhancements to the current line. Um, so we've got some new products that are now available and then some new products that are on their way. So what we'll do is we'll jump right in. I'll review some of the advantages and then we'll try to go through the line and show you some of the new products that are, that are here. So just to touch on the Advantages that we have of SNOME, of course, we're, we are a design company, engineering company, manufacturing company. So we design the whole product from beginning to end. Um, we have a full line of products, including desk phones, decked phones that include KLE and multi-cell, uh, and of conference phones that are wired and wireless. Um, they have a three-year warranty, all of the products. This includes the decked product. This includes the desk phones, the conference phones. So they all have a three-year replacement warranty from SNOME which we do have actually US support. Uh, so if you have any issues, challenges, we do have a phone number and an email, you can reach out to our support team that is here in the US as well. They would be the ones that would actually handle your of course troubleshooting, but also any warranty issues as well. Uh, but here in North America, we do have engineering, research and development, product sales, marketing and tech support. So we've got folks you can reach out to and talk to here in the US. Uh, one of the big advantages right now, huge advantage, is of course our warehouse that is in San Antonio, Texas. So we have a North American distribution uh, center that we ship out of. So our product come into San Antonio and out to our distribution channels from there. We have all of our products in stock. <laughs> That's, I'll repeat that, we have our products on hand and in stock in San Antonio. So we are able to uh, fill orders very quickly at this point. So we'll review real quickly the D700 series. Uh, it's been out for a couple years, a few years now. Um, some of the key kind of standard features of the 700 series would be that they have the USB port on the side so they can connect to any of the expansion modules, um, Wi-Fi dongle, things like that. The entry level is the 717, which has three programmable keys. Um, they do all have you know, uh, two giggy port ethernet switches. Um, this one can handle up to uh, six SIP accounts. The 735, you jump to much more um, flexibility in the programmable keys. So you have the ability to program 32 total function keys. Eight are on the front next to the side of the screen, and you've got four pages of those. So you can actually uh, program quite a few, and that'll handle up to 12 accounts. All of these D700 series also have a solid state hook switch which improves your reliability, thus limiting your ability to have to replace anything with warranty, no mechanical parts there. Um, there is also a dedicated headset switch on all of these models as well. So the flagship piece for us in the D700 series has been the D785, uh, which has the dual screen. So it has a larger screen, um, the secondary screen for BLFs. Um, you have six BLFs on that with four pages worth there as well. This model does have Bluetooth built in, uh, so you can pair it to a headset as well. Now, that leads to one of our new products, um, which is a D785N. So it is the same as the D785. We simply have removed the Bluetooth, and what that will do is bring the cost down a bit as well. A lot of folks were either not pairing the Bluetooth directly, so because this has a USB port, you can bear your, you can uh, you can pair it with a USB dongle that would come with a headset still, um, or just not using a headset, period, or using one of the other connections. Um, so by by eliminating that, we actually have a lot more flexibility. Um, we do have these are now available in our San Antonio warehouse. They are available 
um, currently and released. So this is a new product that is currently available and we have plentiful stock. So the D7C expansion module, this is a fairly new product. This came out um, within the last year. Um, this will, this has a nice color screen, will allow you to have uh, 16 self-configuring, uh, self-labeling LED keys. There are three pages, so you've got 48 total that you can have per expansion module. Um, you can pair up to three of them with a phone. Um, the first one you'll be able to power with the, the AC adapter or PUE that you are powering the phone with. Beyond that, if you're going to a second or a third, you'll need an additional um, power supply to power the additional two. To the right, you see the old uh, monochrome uh, sidecar expansion module that we had available. That is the D7C, that is still available. Um, but obviously you've got a little more, eh, it looks nicer <laughs> on the color, the D7C. So some of the other items you can do with the D D700 series. We do have an A200, uh, sorry, an A210 Wi-Fi dongle that you can plug into the side of any of those with the USB port. Um, it was a reminder, you do need the power supply if you're not powering it with PoE. Um, but with the power supply and the Wi-Fi dongle, that gives you flexibility to use the phone at home to, in a rough spot or if you're trying to connect to, uh, to a place where you just can't get a drop for PoE. And then again, we do have the deck dongle. So the deck dongle does allow you to do, use the phone as a an, like an executive uh, speaker phone. So the D, sorry, the C52 is an expansion speaker phone, part of our speaker phone accessories, which will pair to the A230 decked dongle. And that will plug into the USB port on the phone and allow you to say, have your phone off to the side, but put your speaker phone in front of you so you can have calls hands-free. Um, it's it's a nice kind of executive speakerphone option for the phones. So new model, new model. Again, this is kind of an enhancement to the D700 series. Um, this will be available. It is literally on the way to us, but you cannot order it today. Um, this model is similar to the 717. However, it does have an additional, additional uh, programmable key. Uh, to create a competitive price point, um, we needed to go to a fourth programmable key from the three. Um, and to keep it competitive, we did remove the USB uh, port from there. So you don't have the ability to handle this as an expansion, to, you know, with an expansion module or have the Wi-Fi dongle or the deck dongle. So the USB is gone from this. It is a nice clean option and a competitive price point, but this one should be available here uh, within probably within the month, but it, it will be here shortly. Conferencing. So we do have um, wired and wireless conference solutions. So the C620 is our wireless decked conference phone, and it's the technologies from the base to the actual speaker phone. Uh, what it'll do is allow you to have up to 24 hours of talk time. I, I am sorry for anybody stuck in that meeting, but you can actually <laughs> talk for 24 hours in narrowband, 12 hours in wideband. Um, on top of that, you have decked mics. So you have the whole conference phone that's decked, and then the mics you can spread out across the room. Uh, so people are going back into the office, conference phones uh, are becoming more popular, but obviously this gives you more flexibility to configure and not have to sit right next to each other, uh, whether it's adjacent rooms or just giving yourself a little more distance. With the mics that you can place elsewhere and expanding the speaker phones, it gives you the ability to put more people, kind of keep them separate in the same room. And how that works is basically the C620 will allow you to pair up to two of those expansion speaker phones. So the speaker phones have a mic and a speaker, um, and then when you can pair those to the main unit, and then you can have basically three points of contact uh, where you can listen and speak through those. The C520 is the wired version. I'm gonna go back here just a second. The C520 is the wired version, <clears throat> so that one, Again, same style, same shape, just no battery in there. It would need to be plugged in. You can expand that but with three of the C52 expansion speaker phones. And again, same thing as far as the C520, um, the mics will come out. You can place those across on a large conference table as well. 
but the 620 gives you the flexibility not to have to, you know, if somebody doesn't want to drill holes in their conference room table or anything like that, it gives you more flexibility where you can put it, uh, being that it is wireless. So in our wired, uh, in our uh, wireless solutions, uh, for the most part, what we're using is decked technology. So the M100 is a product that's been out for a while. It is uh, fully decked handsets and desk sets. Um, what this does, in addition to just being a decked handset, is it has, has the option to also run as a key line emulation. So key line emulation is where you, like an old tra old fashioned phone. So where you had the phones that had line one, line two, line three, line four, you could just put them on hold. Somebody else could pick up that line. Um, it would, you know, would blink and then somebody else would be able to just pick it up and talk to that person without having to transfer, park, do all that stuff. So key line emulation emulates an old line style phone. These are great for restaurant, retail, very you know, small offices. This has the ability to run uh, up to 10 handsets per base. They would need to be part of the same base solution to function as a key line system. But what they would do is allow you to have up to six concurrent calls with four key lines on the front. And again, easily be able to, if you're running around, put a call on hold, have somebody else pick up in the back warehouse, whatever the case is. But it gives you some flexibility, easy training, easy um, access to be able to talk without having to retrieve a call. So this is just a little, little more, a little closer image of how it works. If a call comes in, L1 will blink. Anybody that's part of that system can answer it. Um, once they've picked it up, they can just hit the hold button um, and then anybody else can then, you know, grab that call. You can either use intercom or just shout at somebody, hey, you know, Jimmy, pick up line one. So we have deployed this in a few, um, well, I should say a few in many locations, but uh, we did deploy this in a 400 plus location restaurant chain. Um, it's made their life a lot easier. Uh, again, ease of deployment was very, it was very simple um, with the provisioning. Um, there's no, no need to train necessarily how to handle the calls because it's just a line button, hold button, pretty simple. Um, but it overall, obviously with this, you also have the cost savings uh, because you do have the option of this can do this with just a single seat. So with that said, we have a next generation of that coming as well. So this is the, the M500. And this will be also have some flexibility uh, with multi-cell capability. So the M500 is currently slated for, uh, we expect it by August. <laughs> so we, by August or September, you should be able to start getting some of these in your hands. Um, the base itself um, will handle up to uh, eight units, eight, eight devices, whether it's the desk set or the handset. All of these will have full color screen. Obviously the desk set, you can see has a color screen. The handsets are a nice beefy, um, uh, they're stout and they also have a color screen in them as well. Um, what we'll be able to do is on the M500 on launch, you will be able to pair two of them together to expand your footprint. So it'll allow you to have uh, some additional handsets, but the larger thing is it will cover a larger space. So if you need to put one, let's say you're a warehouse and you want to put one in the front, you can put another base, you know, towards the back to make sure you cover this, you know, medium-sized warehouse that you've got coverage for your phone. Within the first six months, our team expects to have this to, to the full six base solution. So you should be able to pair six of these together to, again, be able to have uh, more handsets, but also just simply be able to cover a larger footprint for a larger warehouse, a larger uh, retail space. So it'll give you flexibility to be able to, to cover more area. Um, and I can't, well, there you go. <laughs> so covered most of what's on here. Uh, you can have eight concurrent calls, uh, up to eight phones per base, and then uh, 48 decked phones in multi-cell operation. So again, up to six bases you'll be able to pair together. On launch, it will be two. So the handset itself, uh, in addition to just being a nice looking handset, it will be antibacterial plastic. That will be a recurring theme you'll see here. Uh, antibacterial plastic is what we use in our hospitality phones. Uh, VTech does make ho hospitality phones as well. 
So that we've been using those for, for years. Um, we are moving them over to our BSG side as well. So this will have antibacterial plastics. Um, you'll have a dedicated intercom key and three soft keys, which in a decked handset, again, not, not a lot of uh, options out there for that. The other nice thing is that we'll have integrated Bluetooth. So you will be able to put this, carry this around without having to have it on your ear uh, and pair it to a Bluetooth headset. Uh, so I think that's a, that's a big ask that we've had over the years and that'll be a nice plus uh, to have as well for people to be able to roam. Again, if you're thinking about restaurants, retail, even offices, but it, when people need it hands-free, they'll be able to do that, still walk around and talk and have access to their phone. The color handset will be will have some increased functionality. Um, you'll have full soft keys. It will have Bluetooth integration as well, antibacterial plastics even on the desk phone um, with eight programmable keys. Uh, now this one, as opposed to the M100, this one will require power. You'll have to plug it in, uh, but it because it has the larger screen, so you will require um, an actual outlet with power. So multi-cell solutions, these have been out for a little bit now. Um, the M900 is our kind of beefed up version, if you will, um, is multi-cell. You can actually put a thousand base stations together, up to 30 handsets per station. These, these systems are not interchangeable. In other words, the M900 is not inter interchangeable with the M500. They are separate systems. Um, the, again, the M100 is, is separate as well. But any of the M900, even the old M700, those are all interchangeable with each other, including the handsets from, from either system. Uh, but these, you can have up to 30 handsets per base station. So you can have up to 4,000 handsets. Uh, so obviously that's gonna be able to cover larger things like campuses, hospitals, um, things like that, where you need a, lar a much larger footprint, but also a larger quantity of phones. So the phones we have now are the M70 is the ruggedized version. It's a uh, two meter drop tested. Uh, so it's again, fairly stout. The M80 is a ruggedized, it's actually AP, IP65. So you have some water resistance, waterproof in there. Um, and then the M90 is uh, where we're seeing a lot of activity right now, again, with hospitals, uh, but also healthcare, retirement home, things like that. It is also antibacterial. So it's ruggedized and antibacterial. Um, and can connect to the M900 in multi-cell capability. Just real briefly, um, it does have the ability to uh, land sync as well. That's actually a, a nice feature, a nice enhancement. It doesn't require any kind of special switch. Um, so it will be able to sync to create, uh, you know, uh, when you have a gap or to create any kind of uh, environmental dead spot to overcome that without having to necessarily uh, kind of rebuild your infrastructure. So the, M, the handsets themselves also have the ability to kind of help you determine where you need to place the bases. So you will have the ability to do a survey through the handset to see where the ideal places are. Um, obviously with DECT, it does overcome a lot more than you'll need to with uh, Wi-Fi and with some other things, it has good signal strength. What the challenge is obviously the more obstacles that are in your way, the more things you have to overcome, it does reduce the range. So it, this helps you in being able to find where you would need to put those bases. So the PA1, um, <laughs> not much to say about it. It's just, it's been a uh, kind of a machine over the years. There are some changes coming to it. Um, it's a very small change. It's a running change. Um, we'll, we'll touch on real briefly here. But again, this has been a product that we've had for years. It's readily accessible. We do have them on hand. We have more coming. We are uh, building them. There Again, there will be a running change, which I'll touch on here. Um, well, since this is up, I'll do it real quick. So the PA1 will be replaced by the PA1 Plus. Um, it, the only difference that it'll have is it'll have a 300 ohm connection on it to be able to give you a little more flexibility on the amp that you connect it to. Um, we've also, we're also transitioning it to the chip that we use in the D735, uh, which just gives us a, more, a little more flexibility since that is a chip that we you know, regularly build phones with, um, where the old chips, well, it's an old chip. Um, so there's a transition 
in internally where we're going to use the the current chip and the amp will be uh, the amp connection will be a little more flexible so again that'll be still be called the pa1 it'll be the pa1 plus and that change will happen uh sometime this year by the end of the year so this is a product we're going to touch on real quick the d800 series is a product that is uh we we should see those by the end of next quarter um they will not replace the d700 they will be a separate line and they will both run concurrently so there are just to confirm there are no intentions to make any uh, eliminations in the line of the d700 series it will still be readily available um, we'll have a different look um, it will still carry the three-year warranty uh, what we will do is it'll have a screen that will have a tilt screen so you'll be able to adjust the screen so the image on the on the left is the d785 is our current model the d 865 will be one of the first models available on the d800 series um, again some of the some of the differences is you'll have a tilt screen you'll have a larger screen um, you will have the option to have removable face plates for branding so if you do want to brand your own uh, your own phones your own model you can the whole face plate will come off and we'll be able to print uh, you know your own brand on a custom face plate um, they will have, so there's going to be an entry level called the D862, which we'll touch on here, that you'll be able to upgrade with a dongle for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. All other models will have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They'll have two USB ports, um, and then they will have uh, antibacterial surfaces on them as well. So this will be the 862. This will be one of the first models that's available. It will be the, the entry level piece. It will have, uh, this will have just one USB port. Again, it won't have the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth built in, but you will be able to get it with dongles. Um, it does have antibacterial uh, surfaces, but the basics are eight SIP accounts and, uh, and eight programmable keys. Again, even this one will have that full face plate that will come off. So if you do want to brand it, you have that option. The 865 will be, as you saw, there's not a lot of look difference. It's the same same style of phone. That one will have the, um, uh, well, it'll have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. And then it also has uh, an ambient light and hook switch sensor, which, which all models have, even the 862 has as well. So coming down the line, um, we don't have confirmed dates on this. So it's, it's, it's probably early next year. Um, this would be the eight inch touchscreen version that we will have. Um, there are some options that are on here, um, which I, I'm looking at now, which we should grow to at some point, but we don't have dates for anything like that. Long term, what we will have is we will have the ability to have um, cameras for this, and we will also, we're also looking at the option of being able to have a decked handset that's part of this. Um, again, I'm jumping ahead because it's a little too early. We don't have dates on those type of products yet, uh, but we are looking at those options for future products. Um, all of these, again, will have antibacterial uh, plastics, but those are some of the things that you'll see in the line in the future. But for now, the two models that you're going to see in probably in the next quarter or so would be the 862 and the 865. Um, we touched on this. This, again, you can see the PA1 Plus looks way different than the PA1. Well, it's the same case. Everything looks exactly the same other than the new chipset and the 600, I think I said 300 ohm, the 600 ohm output for better amp compatibility. Um, some of the things we have now, we do currently have the A100, A100D available. Those are just the basic headsets. I actually use uh, old school, but I do still use one of these on my regular phone. Um, that is actually a pretty decent quality headset. Um, that's inexpensive and you've got different connectivity options including you know usb and 2.5 and 3.5 millimeter we are working on um, new headsets that will have an inline control um, these should be available again next quarter um, there's they, they will be wired um, there's going to be mono and stereo options um, the sound quality is going to be much stepped up as well um, again the wired version you should see here coming soon. The wireless, uh, we should have blue, we are working on Bluetooth and decked versions as well. Um, now those are long-term, I don't have dates that I can share yet on those, but those will be coming from us as well. 
And then we've got, of course, just to call out, we do have our live support. So if you have any technical issues or challenges with your product, we do have support that's actually on the phone. You can talk to them um, or, or email. Uh, new partner registration, when you become a partner, you can access all of our information, portal information. Um, and again, you know, feel free to reach out to me directly as well. Um, SRAPS is our provisioning uh, server. So once you get signed in for there, you can do all your, your provisioning from the redirect server. Um, and that pretty much wraps up my presentation today. So I think that covers everything. I tried to do this talk as fast as I possibly could. So hopefully you stayed with me as much as, as, much as possible. Uh, but I think I will go ahead and turn it back over to you, Julie, if you're, uh, if you're still with me there. Of course, thank you, Corey, so much for your wonderful presentation. And it looks like we do have some questions for you. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Uh, first question is, will you support Bluetooth option for the expansion modules like the D7C? Not as far as I know in the actual expansion module, it would have to be, yeah, I see where the challenge would be. Would you, that's a good question. And I don't know the answer to that because I, I think what you're getting at is obviously the D785 has Bluetooth connectivity. When you plug in the expansion module, you are using the USB port, which then uh, uses the, the Bluetooth, um, you know, would use a Bluetooth connection if you're using it there. But they, to answer the question, the D7C does not have built-in Bluetooth capability. Thank you very much, Corey, for that. Next question here for you. Uh, does your warranty support um, accidental damage um, of any of your products? Uh, damage created by the by the user, no. Um, now, <laughs> if it's if it's something you throw against the wall or catch it on fire, leave it on the stove or whatever the case is, that would not be covered. Um, however, if it's just you know normal use, if something comes loose or something malfunctions inside the phone itself after a couple years, we actually do just simply replace it. We don't have a you know, we don't have a refurb replacement that we send. We would just simply have our team, they would troubleshoot with you just to make sure it's, you know, it's not something that they can fix over the phone. And if not, um, they would have you send it back and they would just send a, re a new replacement. So it's a pretty nice uh, policy as well, but it is limited to the actual, you know, manufacturer uh, defect, if you will. Thank you, Corey, for that. And regarding your warranties, what is your general, can you give us a, a general overall on your warranties? Well, I, hopefully that was kind of, you know, covered it, but it basically how, how it's processed is, is exactly that. You would contact our support team and you can do that by email or, or by phone. And, and again, the first thing they would do would be go through with you. They would want to troubleshoot with the either the end user or the, you know, the provider and just see if there's some settings or see if there's anything else that's, that's, that can be adjusted, that can be corrected, right? So if it is in fact a defect, then they would go ahead and set up an RMA and do an advanced exchange. So they would actually ship you a replacement even before you, you know, they wouldn't wait for the other one to come back. They would send it out to you beforehand. Um, so it's a pretty good, it, it's one of the better warranties and obviously being three year, that's, that's uh, industry leading, so. Thank you, Corey, for that. I just, yeah, we just wanted to know uh, the general overall and the three years. That's good to know, thank you. Next question here for you. Regarding the DECT dongle, is this the only DECT wireless speaker phone for now? Yes. Okay. There's an extra answer for you. Yes, yeah, so that is literally the only uh, thing we have. There are some things, obviously, that could be developed uh, down the road um, that it does give us flexibility to to use. But right now, yes, it's the C52 is really the only thing that it could pair with. Great, thank you. Next question here for you: Will the local directory on each phone or desk phone be programmable to a computer? Uh, I don't know that I can answer that one. I might have to get back to you on that one. I don't okay. believe so, but I let me let me follow back up on that one. No problem. Thank you so much. Couple more questions. 
uh, regarding the SIP conference phone, can it, how many concurrent calls can it handle? So it can handle three concurrent calls. Okay. Thank you so much. Couple more questions. Are the headsets universal to all phones? They will be there. Most likely they'll have a compatibility list as well, um, but they sh that would be the intent. We're a little bit of head there. I haven't seen the finished packaging product and compatibility list, but um, generally they would have a compatibility list of phones as well. Excellent, thank you. Now, uh, next question here for you regarding uh, handsets. Um, how far, or does each phone give you information on how far the coverage radius is and the battery life for each phone? It will give you battery life. It does not give you specifically the radius, um, you know, unless you're in that kind of survey mode. That's the only time you would see that, how much range you have. Otherwise, it's really, you're, you're kind of testing it based on, you know, you could be on a call and just literally walk away and see how far you can get. Um, I see. But there is, a, there is the survey mode where you can see, you know, you could see the range and see where you would need to place one. Uh, but yes, they all have battery life. You can see how long the battery will, how much, you know, how, how much battery life you have in the phone. Okay, great. So if you walk out of your office and down the hall and you lose your call, then you kind of get an idea. <laughs> right, right, yes. But again, with the M900 and even the M500, you'll be able to, okay, so we need another base, right? So you add a base down the hall and you're covered. Great, that's excellent to know. Thank you so much. And thank you for uh, sharing some future things, which I knew you were going to. Uh, they're not available yet, but you gave us a little preview, so that's always nice. And uh, um, if we go to your website, I bet you we can find everything we need, especially for customer service support, tech support. Obviously, if someone becomes a partner, they have access to all kinds of information on your website. Is that correct? Absolutely. And then again, if you'd like any additional information, or even when something is coming out, um, how to how to you know or, where where to get it or how how to access it, um, you know, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Corey, for answering all those questions for us. And thank you to everyone attending today's webinar. And of course, if anyone has any further questions. Uh, please feel free to contact your sales rep here at Microcom or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view uh, the products that are available now and that were mentioned or shown today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. And please remember this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again. Uh, thank you again, Corey. We appreciate it. Loved all the information and product information you shared with us. And until next time, goodbye for now. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye now.